Hi guys! I really want to talk about the Genesis lens today, right? Because that's the second question I get asked the most, literally, if it's worth buying Genesis lens. And the very short answer is absolutely it's worth buying Genesis lens if you have the money, right? If you don't have the money, that's perfectly fine because you don't actually need it to play the game, make money and enjoy all the benefits. So no, you don't need Genesis lens to play the game. And I also know there will be other uh, lens that are going to come later on. I don't know when they're going to release the other batches of land. It's not going to be another Genesis land. As far as I know, there's only 1000 of them right and the next lens are gonna be inferior to the genesis lens right so this is probably the lowest price that you're probably gonna see the lens going at right um this is just my opinion my experience so on and so forth right so do your research all this and that but i'm just telling you what actually happened to me so basically genesis lens absolutely buy it right uh, it's a lot to talk about it but let me just start by going on it because I, I know you want to see how it looks so these are the leaderboards right and this is the gold leaderboard this gold leaderboard is literally only for the genesis land right and the genesis land you can access it right here right with this guy right here it even says this is genesis land right you can find him next to the leaderboards let me show you on the map i'm right here right so that's where the leaderboards are and that's where you can see how much money you made from your genesis land and how much money other people made and that's where you can access it right so uh before i go on my land let me show you quickly the other leaderboards right um yes i'm ranked 773 i have zero points i didn't play today okay so chill 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 i just logged in uh you can already see i started the puzzle right uh i didn't even do any pieces i started probably 20 minutes ago and i went there okay but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the genesis land and i'm gonna start playing and stuff but um yeah what i want to show you let's go so right now I have zero points, right? Because the punchline is this. I'm going to go right now on my Genesis land. Yeah, let's just go there. Because you see, I have zero points. Remember that. I have zero points and I'm ranked 773, right? And now we go to the gold leaderboard. So you have a monthly, a weekly, and a daily, right? So I'm going to be first on each and every single one of them by the end of today. But let's go back to the Genesis land. This one, right? So you can see, you can make money and everything you earn is going to be showing there the rewards are paid at the end of each month so everything that you accumulated this month let's say the the month just started right what day is today i think it's the i don't even know let me check quickly uh, who cares <laughs> who cares what day is today it's the fifth okay so it's, so it's been five days and i already made twenty dollars right so let me go show you now the land right so remember i have twenty dollars that i made right and zero points right so let's go this is the land oh you just click on it press e press e and you will access it okay okay and boom now on my land you can see it's my land it has my name there right cafeina and you can see it's a genesis land right genesis land cafeina this is I assume this guy is going to sell stuff for us or do something. At the moment, you can't really interact with him, but he's definitely going to do stuff. That's why he's there, I assume. So, yeah, this is how my land looks. Obviously, I have lots of land around it and stuff, but let's go. So, everyone that buys this Genesis land is going to get a gem on their land, right? Uh, I have a diamond on my, red, on my gem. I think it depends according to what land you have what you get on your land um but yeah what the trait of the actual nft is right but yeah i have a diamond and it's awesome anyway you come to the diamond boom and let's put that maybe you're a warrior and you come mining so let me show you quickly yeah you need to equip your mining pick first it's gonna be there in their inventory see so you just see you even have a, if you're a warrior you're gonna have a sword if you're a mage you have a staff just switch to a mining pick yeah and once you've done that, you will find it's probably on your bars already. But if it's not on your bars, you can find it here, right in your talents, right there. And then it's here, mining pick. Yeah, just drag it on your bars. Boom, cool. So now you equip the pickaxe, and you have that, and you just hit it. And let's see. Uh, remember, I have a chance every day to get either money or point. Yeah, if I get points, they go on the leaderboard. If I get money, it goes on the other leaderboard on the Genesis. Let's hit. Let go. Okay, I got 44,000 points. That's actually very good. I'm happy with that for sure. 
So it's not money today, and I am not upset because those points are gonna go straight to the leaderboard. Let me show you now. So remember, I had zero points on the leaderboard on the daily leaderboard, right? Let's go see now. So yeah, you can see I still have twenty dollars because I didn't earn money today, but it resets the land resets every day at midnight UTC so every day after midnight UTC you can go and do it again so um I'm gonna go again and do it and probably I'm gonna get money and if not I'm gonna get more points I don't care so back to the to the little board now you see I have 44,000 points and I'm ranked 31 I was ranked 700 something so just because I done my Genesis land this is the important part by the way Genesis land can give you way more points 44,000 points is kind of in the mid range um, you can get up to 70 uh, 7 I think 70 something points 70,000 points it's the most I've seen if I remember correctly but yeah you can get anywhere between 30,000 points and 70,000 points something like that but yeah so I'm ranked 31 just by doing my land right uh obviously now I'm gonna also do my puzzle which is gonna give me I don't know it could give me anywhere between 20 30,000 and 100,000 then I'm gonna go do my treasure chests yeah here treasure hunt Dogecoin, coin market cap, and then I'm gonna go do the premium membership chest. So yeah, those are the stuff that I'm gonna do now, and I'm gonna end up being first by the end of the day. But back to the land. What I really wanted to show you is so you buy the land, and the first thing you get is instant access to the game. So if if you don't have access to the game, let's say you don't have premium membership or another is the first time you just joined and you buy a land, you instant get access to the game, of course, and you get the land, right? The land I explained it to you. You can do it once a day, every day, and it resets at twelve uh, midnight UTC, right? So you can do come in, log. You saw it. It takes you two minutes to do it, right? And you can either win instant money that goes on the leaderboard. Or you can win points, yeah? But at the end of the day, you can transform more your points into the money, right? That's what I'm doing. There's a reason why I'm, I'm, I'm claiming the leaderboard every day. Because every day I'm on the leaderboard, I'm getting paid, right? Remember, there's so many ways of making money in this game. Uh, please understand, I am a gamer. This is what I do. So I'm going to want to be on that leaderboard, no matter what. If not, it's no fun for me, right? But I'm a gamer. A lot of you are not gamers and that's more than fine you know you have jobs you have work to do you don't even like gaming you just want to invest maybe you just want to have fun with your friends maybe you just want to get rich anyway DPUs has it all and this is exactly why I'm in this ecosystem please understand I me as a gamer that I've been gaming for so long all my life there's no way I would have picked a game that's gonna um how to explain that's gonna contain me that's gonna like most web3 games so m most web3 games that we have in in <laughs> in this space are made to actually um just to overwhelm you to press you and contain you that, that's what it is first of all most games are bad sorry i know i'm going a bit of a rant and it's not about genesis land but it's very important to understand why I'm saying these things and why I'm giving so much props to this game and why I'm explaining to you that you do need to buy the land if you can buy the land, that you can do so many other things than just gaming. This is a whole new thing, it has nothing to do with gaming, forget about gaming. Think metaverse, think bigger, think DeFi, think making money, think, think bigger than just a game, right? So. Like I said, there's so many ways of making money. You could literally just take, buy loads of their coins and stake it, man. And you can still get rich and you didn't even play the game if you get it. But like I said, so once you buy the land, you can do that for the gamers and this and that. But like I said, there's so many ways of making money in it. So what else can you do with your land? You can stake it, of course, <laughs> just like everything else in this game. This is, again, why I love this game. You can pretty much stake everything. Yeah, that's it. So let me show you right now. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you, yeah? You can go on DPU's website, right? And there you're going to see this page. And you have here migration, earn, governance, free, yields, project news, right? Go to earn. And when you go to one, you're going to see you can stake on two different chains. So you have Ethereum, BNB chain and Avalanche chains. Yeah. So 
you can see on BNB I already have staked. You can see that it's staked. If you stake your money, it's going to say staked. So I have staked already here with 20%, right? But check this out. Go on, go on uh, the Ethereum work. And this is what I really wanted to show you. And that's the punchline for Genesis land. So you can stake your land alone for 25% APR with no lock time. Please understand there's no lock time and you have 25% APR for Genesis land, right? Uh, there's still room in this pool, I know for a fact. But in this one, there's another pool. And this is 50% APR, which again, I'm lucky because I did stake early into this pool. So I actually have my, uh, I just need to, hold on, I need to change my chain so you can actually see it. So if you can't see, see, make sure you switch. So if you want to stake on Ethereum, make sure you're on the right chain here. You can see here, you can, if you want to go stake on an Avalanche, be on Avalanche. Yeah, so you just pick your chains from there and then you can see the pools and stuff, right? So back here, now you can see I have a land staked. See here, I have $70 already that I can, I can claim right now. I can just click that and claim it right now, right? And then I'm going to put my MetaMask stuff and it's going to give me the money. Around Christmas, I took $500 out of this, right? So I, I made, in reward, I had $500. I think it was $530 when I took the money. And that was a month ago that I took the money. And I already made $70 since then, which I can claim right now, right? So it's 50% APR. This pool right now, it, it has no more spots. It's closed. Yeah, it's full. Sorry. Uh, I don't know how it works. I don't know if they're going to reopen it. I assume they're going to either make a new pool or let you stake in that pool. I don't know how it works. Right now, that pool is full, right? Is it going to be open later? Is it going to be a new one? I don't know. But I'm eating on that pool. <laughs> anyway, what I said is it doesn't matter. You can either wait to get a spot in that pool because other people are taking shit out or they increase. I don't know how that works. It's, like I said, I'm a gamer. I don't do finance yet. Yeah? So that thing. But I have it in and I'm getting paid. So that's cool. But this one, it, you can still stake in it and it's 25% APR, right? You can just throw your Genesis land in there and you don't even need to do anything else if you don't want. You don't even need to go and log on your Genesis land if you don't want, right? And of course, you can see the, the staking for uh, the coins, right? So you can have 12% there, 20% here. Same thing on BNB chain, 12%, 20%. Same thing on Avalanche. So you could literally just take money in these pools. Like, is that easy, right? Uh, right now, I only have, I mean, most of the people that follow me know I'm, I'm having some financial difficulties right now. I had a lot of, of their coins staked in pretty much all their pools, but I took it out before Christmas. Uh, and before migration, I also sold a lot of my positions. Uh, but like I said, not because I wanted to, because I was forced to. So, uh, yeah, I still have um, in, like you can see, I still have in BNB here. And I still have my Genesis um, state and my um, cows. But yeah, you can make lots of money pretty much. And what I'm going to do now, as soon as I get money, I'm going to rebuy my position and go even more harder. But that's it, you know. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let me go back to the game now. Yeah, back to the game. And um, like I said, I hope I covered everything. I don't know. I probably forgot something or not. But I think I told you the main stuff. And it's definitely worth buying a Genesis land. Like I said, um, please do your own research. Don't put it on to me. I'm just sharing my experience. I've been making lots of money with this. I'm extremely happy. And I assume if you're on my YouTube channel, that this is what you're here for. So yeah, if you can afford it, definitely buy the Genesis land. Absolutely. But yeah, that's it, guys. I don't know. Genesis land, definitely worth it. If you can afford it, buy it. You can make lots of money. And please understand, that's probably the lowest price that you can probably get it. So from here, it's only up, right? So you're going to be able, if you buy the land now, you could actually hold it, let's say, for a year. Let's say you don't care about the gaming. I'm going to do big things with my land, right? I'm planning on building on my land. I'm planning a lot of stuff. I'm going to play the game. So I'm, a di I'm doing something else. Don't try to copy me because... because you're not me <laughs> please <laughs> do you yeah so uh, take this and apply it to your own business because this is why crypto is so important right it just so happens i'm a gamer i'm into crypto and i like gaming so i applied crypto to my gaming but whatever is your passion or whatever is your business just always keep in mind that you can implement crypto into your business or into your passion well, that's what i've done and this is why i'm playing this game but you can just bring your business here you can make lots of money you can use their land you can use this universe uh metaverse well it's actually a universe but yeah metaverse, <laughs> and so on and so forth i know i think you get the idea anyway uh kind of gotta go now and do my puzzle because i have one hour and 21 minutes i didn't even start it so yeah peace out have any questions ask me and if i forgot anything about 
to mention about the Genesis land, just write into the comments and I'll, yeah, <laughs> that part. All right, see you guys later. Peace out. Oh yeah, I just remember, uh, I forgot to tell you where you can buy it. You can buy it on OpenSea and you can buy it on their uh, marketplace. And of course, I'm going to put a link in the descriptions. <laughs> oh yeah, peace out. Bye.